hello guys welcome back to this channel today's video will be on phase relationship in soils a soil mass is made up of solid particles called solids and empty space between solid particles which are called voids and these voids can be filled with water or it can be filled with air if these voids are filled with water then the soil mass is known as saturated and if these voids are filled with air and it's called unsaturated for phase relationship in soils the soil mass is considered to be a three phase relationship hence the soil mass is made up of soil particles called solids for water and for air the soil particles have their own volume water and air in the voids has its own volume the soil particles have their own their own mass called mass of solids mass of water corresponding to pore water and mass of air corresponding to pore air but mass of air is considered to be negligible and reduced to zero hence the total volume of a soil mass is volume of solid plus volume of water and volume of air volume of water plus volume of air make up volume of void and the total mass will be mass of solid plus mass of water the first relationship in soils is mass relationship which is bulk unit weight and dry unit weight in soils we will relate the bulk unit weight and the dry unit weight in soils bulk unit weight is given by weight of soil weight of weight soil to, ta to that of total volume and the dry unit weight in soils is the dry unit weight in soils is the unit weights of dry soil so total mass is mass of solid plus mass of water but mass of water can be expressed in terms of water content of the soils remember that water content is mass of water to that of mass of solids and substituting this in previous equation total mass will be mass of solid plus water content multiplied by mass of solids if we take mass of solid as common total mass will be mass of solid into 1 plus water content solving for mass of solids mass of solid will be total mass divided by 1 plus water content to obtain weight we multiply both sides by gravity so if you multiply mass by gravity you will obtain total weight and if you multiply mass of solid by gravity we will obtain weight of solids to determine the unit weights we will divide both sides by volume of soil hence weight of soil divided by volume and total weight divided by 1 plus water contains the whole divided by total volume hence dry unit weight will be the bulk unit weight into 1 plus water content the next relation is to relate void ratio with porosity void ratio is the ratio of volume of voids to volume of solids and porosity is the ratio of volume of voids to total volume porosity is given by volume of voids to total volume total volume is the sum of volume of solids plus volume of voids but volume of voids is equals to void ratio multiplied by volume of solids hence if we substitute this in volume of voids porosity will be e volume of solids divided by volume of solids plus e volume of solids if we take volume of solid as a common factor n will be void ratio 
into 1 plus void ratio. Next relation is to relate specific gravity with degree of saturation. So if you assume volume of solids to be 1, volume of void will be E. Hence, degree of saturation is expressed by the ratio of volume of water to into volume of voids and expressed as a percentage. Since volume of voids is equal to void ratio, the degree of saturation will be S will be volume of water into void ratio. Hence, volume of water is S times E. Specific gravity is the ratio of mass of solids to mass of water having equal volume. If we divide both sides by volume, specific gravity will be mass of solid divided by volume into mass of water divided by volume. But mass divided by volume will give us density. Hence, specific gravity equals to density of solids to that of density of water. So, density of solids is mass of solids to that of volume of solids. But volume of solids is equals to what? Hence, density of solids will be mass of solids. So, in place of mass of solids, we substitute density of solids, which is equals to density of water multiplied by a specific gravity. Water content is mass of water to that of mass of solids. Mass of water divided by density of solids, since mass of solids is equal to density of solids. Hence, the mass of water will be water content multiplied by density of solids. So, mass of water will be water content multiplied by unit weight mass specific gravity multiplied by density of water. So density of water is equals to mass of water divided by volume of water. So mass of water will be density of water multiplied by volume of water. But we know that mass of water is equals to this quantity which is water content multiplied by specific gravity multiplied by density of water. And volume of water is specific gravity, uh, degree of saturation, sorry, degree of saturation multiplied by void ratio, multiplied by density of water. Density of water will cancel density of water. Hence, degree of saturation will be water content multiplied by specific gravity into void ratio. We can also relate specific gravity water content with density. Density is equal to mass over volume. Total density is equal to mass of solids plus mass of water, which gives us total mass. And total volume is volume of solids plus volume of voids. But we know that mass of solid, mass will be mass of solids into 1 plus water content. And total volume is 1 plus void ratio. Density of solids is mass of solid divided by volume of solids. Since volume of solid is equal to 1, density of solids will be mass of solids. Hence, density will be specific gravity 1 plus water content divided by 1 plus void ratio multiplied by density of water. From previous result, Degree of saturation is water content multiplied by specific gravity into void ratio. Solving for water content, water content will be degree of saturation multiplied by void ratio into specific gravity. If we substitute this into this equation, density will be specific gravity plus degree of saturation multiplied by void ratio divided by 1 plus void ratio into multiplied by density of water. This relation, this relationship can also be obtained by using unit weight. So
So specific gravity is weight of solid into weight of water. If we divide both sides by volume, we'll obtain specific gravity will be unit weight of solids to unit weight of water. Unit weight of solids is weight of solids divided by volume of solids. Since volume of solids is 1, unit weight of solids will be weight of solids. Water content is weight of water to weight of solids. So water content will be weight of water to that of unit weight of solids since weight of solids is equal to unit weight of solids. So solving for what weight of water, weight of water will be water content multiplied by unit weight of solids. So total unit weight is weight divided by volume. So unit weight is weight of solids plus weight of water divided by volume of solids plus volume of void. Total unit weight will be weight of solids into 1 plus weight of water content divided by 1 plus void ratio. Total unit weight will be, since weight of solids is equal to specific gravity multiplied by unit weight of water, we substitute this value, specific gravity of solids, unit weight of water, 1 plus water content into 1 plus void ratio. Since water content is degree of saturation multiplied by void ratio into specific gravity by plugging this value into previous equation, the unit weight will be specific gravity multiplied by unit weight of water into 1 plus the ratio of SE divided by specific gravity, the whole divided by 1 plus E. This specific, this unit, uh, specific gravity will cancel specific gravity, hence we are left with specific gravity 1 plus SE divided by 1 plus E, the whole multiplied by unit weight of water. So that's it video. So that's it guys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.